I'm Wade Wingler with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. A lot of folks need access to low vision materials. Jim Fortman is going to show us the eBot, which will use an iPad and all kinds of technology to give you a large print, whatever. This is the new eBot completely collapsed down. I just simply have to push the one button here on the side and it raises it up. You flip the camera around and now it's ready to work. Hello, I'm Jim Fortman with Vision Aid Systems and I have a company that's 28 years old now that's been working with blind and visually impaired persons for that long and we have a lot of new products that uh, uh, help them see and, and be able to access printed material. This is the newest one right now, it's called the eBot. E as then the letter E as an electronic and B-O-T. And uh, that's down here, so if you want to take a look at this, so it's great for a student or a busy executive or a teacher, anybody who needs a little bit of mobility. Even if they don't need mobility, it's a very nice product. Um, what we can do with it is, like if somebody had a summer home, they could take it with them pretty easily, but it's more designed for a student. So quite simply, up here, this is the camera at the top. And if you can see, the camera pivots. So if I wanted to look in the distance, I can take that camera and pivot it like that. Now the camera is looking out in the distance. So if a student wanted to see a blackboard, um, maybe look at a math problem, something like that, they can actually save that math problem onto their computer, assuming you have this eBot connected to either a MacBook or the computer. Uh, then they could bring it back, the problem or the test or whatever it is, they could bring it back up when they're home at their, at their own leisure. The really neat thing about this eBot is its ability to hook to a tablet or an Android or any iPad, iPad Mini, uh, iPad Air, any of those products. And what they did was, they being Hims, who's the manufacturer, uh, they have a like a Wi-Fi spot set up. Each one of these eBots is its own Wi-Fi spot. So there's a free download, an app just called eBot Viewer that you can go to the Apple Store. Um, and download it or wherever, whatever device you have, go to the Play Store and download it. It's free. And once you do, then that allows you to interface this device with your iPad or your Android, whatever you have. And I right now have this sheet of paper, this camera's looking down here at this sheet of paper, and it's projecting the image onto this screen. So you can see my fingers on the screen. And then if you want more words you just move the paper so you can read more but what's really unique about this is it does have a remote control if you want to use the remote control all these buttons on this remote control are also found on the eBot front panel itself which is up here and we kind of looked at that earlier so I can make it bigger or smaller I can change to the different color letters so if I wanted white letters or black letters the nice thing about using an Android um, or using the iPad or the iPad Mini like I have here is you don't have to use the remote control or the buttons that are on the eBot itself. You can use your gesture commands. So I simply can, just like you would on any other iPad feature, I can make it bigger or smaller by using the gesture commands. I can actually uh, bring up a menu right on your iPad here. So if I did want to use the OCR feature, which that is the feature that will actually read it aloud to you, the user just simply has to push that. I don't know if you heard it, but it made it sound like it took a snapshot, like an old 35 Can millimeter. Can it be to your iPad or and an Android now it's reading. tablet? And of course, PC to view and interact with your reading, writing, or distance image. And notice how quickly that did that. It's only like three or four seconds, and now it's reading that page to it. I can also just yes, tap on the screen, and that's the pause and the play. Again, those, all those buttons are on the remote control or on the eBot itself. But if I just tap the screen again, it starts reading. I install the eBot app on your tablet, then launch it for a quick and automatic connection. You can see I can make Use the print bigger the on the screen, gestures to change and the it follows level, it. To image mode and contrast level, as well as snapshot the upper screen. Connect the eBot to your iPad or Android. And then we can um, turn the OCR off. 
just with a hand gesture again. And now we're back to a live camera. So like I was mentioning earlier, if you did want to look at uh, something in the distance, we can just by pointing this camera at it and we can zoom in on it. So that's how the student would see the blackboard or the teacher or a PowerPoint display uh, and magnify it. And then I can just flip the camera back down. It remembers what size you had it at, what color you liked, and so forth. Now, along with this, it will plug into any computer. Like I mentioned earlier, any MacBook, so it's Apple compatible, IBM compatible. Uh, it will also plug into any big monitor. So you don't even have to have a computer or an iPad if you wanted this just to plug into a big 40-inch television monitor, it will, as long as it's got the HDMI connection. It also comes with this nice carrying case that will hold all the cables, the manuals, and uh, the e bot itself. So it's got a nice strap. You can use it as a backpack or over your shoulder or just a carrying handle. And that is the new e bot and that's called the e bot Advanced. That is the one that will read to you. Coming soon, stay tuned for our e bot Pro which uh, here at Crossroads, they're going to get one very soon, and we'll probably do another tech tip for that uh, in a week or so. Thank you very much. Cool new CCTV that's very flexible and has lots of options. That's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.